overseas now to Haiti in turmoil after the assassination of its president. Overnight, police say they made another arrest. Meanwhile, the Biden administration sending over a team of FBI and Homeland Security officials, but declining a request for U.S. troops. Local 10's Andrea Martinez in the newsroom with more. Andrea. Yeah, the assassination leaves a huge power vacuum in Haiti with no legal roadmap to moving forward. And the country's parliament is also struggling right now with two men claiming to be the country's rightful prime minister. Overnight, a Florida doctor arrested and accused of being a key player in the assassination of President Jovenel Moise. The interim chief of police alleging that 63-year-old Haitian national Christian Emmanuel Sanon planned to assume the presidency and allegedly hired Colombian nationals through a U.S.-based security firm under the pretext that they would be his bodyguards. The FBI and Department of Homeland Security now has agents on the ground. Authorities have arrested at least 20 suspects in the killing of President Moise, including two Americans. Haitian officials are now hoping to uncover more answers. We need the truth to get out. The first lady of the country who was wounded in the attack is now recovering at a Miami hospital after surgery over the weekend sending this message of assurance to the people of Haiti. You can't let the country be lost. You can't let the blood of my young husband, the president you love so much and who loved you too, run for nothing. Now, without a clear leader, the country that has faced economic uncertainty and gang violence in recent years is once again faced with the unknown. The acting prime minister calling for people in the streets to remain calm. In the newsroom, Andrea Martinez, Local 10 News.